Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo's reading, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Virgo? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Have you guys been feeling like this crazy shift in energy? Because I've been experiencing that the past two weeks and it's crazy. It's like off the charts. We usually experience that, I want to say the middle of October, but for some reason this year it's like it's been crazy and I'm going to be doing a reading about that. But anyways, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to your love life. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, one more. All right, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Your first card here is the Seven of Wands, the need to stand your ground. There is a need for you to... Uh, be analytical, Virgo. Uh, try the best you can not to allow your emotions to take over. It's going to be very important for the remaining of the month. You have to approach situations uh, from a analytical standpoint. So again, it's about not attaching yourself to the emotion, but thinking clearly, uh, thinking with a cool head is going to be very important here. Um, the decision of having to there is a decision that needs to happen here for some of you guys. Wow, we have the tower here as well. Okay, so what they're saying here is, again, with the two of wands, there is a um, some type of communication that will be opening up for you. Um, there is someone that's going to be expressing their emotions or feelings for you or the desire to have a relationship for you with you. And there's almost like a feeling of this is coming out of nowhere. I feel that it's really going to shake you. Um, because you were not expecting it. So again, try the best you can to make a decision. Whatever your decision is, make sure that you're thinking it straight. Don't get in, wrapped up in the emotion of it. Um, think clearly, especially if this is a person that from the past that you've had to put your foot down because it's almost like with the Seven of Wands and the King of Swords, it's almost like there was some type of situation where you needed to put your foot down or stand your ground. And this really made them like um, not be okay because they felt rejected or they felt like uh, you were making it more difficult for them um, or challenging them even. So this challenge kind of turned them into, oh, now I'm going to get Virgo or now I'm going to have Virgo. Um, so again, try the best you can to not get so wrapped up in the emotion of it and rush into a relationship. Really think about it. Like I said, especially if you're dealing with the person from the past that uh, essentially you had to basically put your foot down and let them know, hey, I'm not going to be messed around with or I'm not going to. If you're not taking me seriously, I will walk away. Um, because if that is the person that's coming back to you, what they're telling you is, um, you don't want to make the same mistake, you know, don't allow people to hurt you. They hurt you once, learn the lesson, maybe twice, but after that, um, rise to the occasion and see past their bullshit. Now, the person of your interest has the will of the year. So there is definitely some change here that happened in their mind um, where they had to kind of revisit their emotions or analyze their emotions. Um, Maybe they were kind of fighting the fact that they did feel a connection for you um, or they realized, again, that you hurt their feelings or their ego uh, because you rejected them or because you told them uh, how you were going to be approached or how you're going to be treated or and how you're not going to be allowing others to treat you. Nine of Swords, a lot of anxiousness, a lot of stress, the magician um, and the two of swords. So again, you know, nine of swords, I'm stressed. Um, I don't want to lose Virgo. I don't want them to go somewhere else or to find a better connection. Um, let me present myself in a better version of myself here with the magician. I feel that the magician is in reverse. So this is a person that will sweet talk the shit out of you uh, to convince you, uh, give me another shot when in reality, uh, or they may present themselves like I'm open. I'm open to love. Let's give it a try. But in essence, with the Two of Swords, they're still blocking their emotions or their heart. So this is a decision or an action that is being taken, not necessarily because they're being authentic, but more because you've become a challenge, Virgo, and you need to see past that. 
Um, that could be the reason why they're telling you over here, try not to get so wrapped up in the emotion, uh, especially for those of you guys out there that have been trying to manifest the person to come back to you. Know and understand that the reason why they're coming back is because you've become a challenge, um, especially if there was, as an example, you felt a pretty good connection and all of a sudden they kind of ghosted you or they pulled away or they started distancing themselves. The moment they felt that they couldn't have you anymore, that's the moment that uh, they're making irrational decisions or promises that they know they cannot uh, fulfill or that they cannot honor uh, because it's more of the thrill of chasing you because you've become something that they can no longer have. So see past that bullshit, uh, Virgo, and um, stay in your power, my lovelies. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.